Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add subtitles and or closed captioning in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now, and I've got two short clips to use as an example for you. And let's get started with adding in subtitles. So subtitles and closed captioning, they are those words that pop up on the screen while you are speaking or while someone else is speaking so that you know they can read along. So for this example, I'm going to use two short clips of me speaking in another tutorial. And let's add some closed captioning on these. So I'm just gonna move these down to the bottom. And when you are ready to add your subtitles and closed captioning, um, you want to head over to the More tab and you want to click on Captions. So we're going to click on that and then it's going to have this pop up here. Now, I prefer to do it uh, the manual way and type it as you're speaking because then it's a more accurate that way. You can put a file in like pre-typed up I find that, you know, I can time them better when I'm doing it manually and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on add caption and I'm just going to move it down here so you guys can see, but it has this purple box thing and it says there's a blank caption right now and then this pops up on the screen and uh, there's nothing there right now. So what you need to do is play that section. I'm just going to just make this bigger. I'm gonna play that. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Okay, so I said, hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So that's what I wanna type. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So from here, you can do a couple of things. So you can change the, the text style and the font. So you can have it more bolded or you can have it italics. Um, you can change the font and the size and the color and the opacity. So how, how dark you want it to show up on screen. And you can also do the alignments as well down here. Okay, so when you are done and you have like the text that you're saying for the first little bit, you want to make sure that the closed caption a box here is sized accordingly that it's the same timing as when you're speaking. So if you guys can see it's quite light and faded, but I go, hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. And it ends right here at this gap in the audio. And but this purple box goes longer, which means that that text will keep going. But I need it to go exactly to what I'm saying. So I need to shorten it down to here because that's where I, I take a pause. So I'll play it for you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So that's going to keep repeating until you stop it. And so that is the correct timing for that caption. Uh, so now I'm going to add another one. So I need to press the plus button and then it's going to add another one. So let me just play what I'm saying here. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada. So in this video, I'm let... so I want it to go longer. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know. So let's try that. So in this video, I think I'm letting you guys know. I think that's what I said. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that ca that Canada Post. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada Post is doing free shipping. Canada Post is doing free shipping in the last so part. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada Post
Coast is doing free shipping on Tuesdays for the entire month of October. On Tuesdays. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada Post is doing free shipping on Tuesdays for the entire month of October. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada Okay, so as you can see, it's going to keep playing until I stop it, until I get it. So that's what I say in that section there before I take another breather. So I'm going to leave that there. And I'm just going to just do a test of, of two captions for you guys to show you. But basically, you would just keep going on and on until your video ends. Keep adding, you know, add caption, type it in, um, change the font if you want to, change the color, make it smaller, italics, bold, whatever you want. And then just keep going along the timeline until your video is completed. So that is the first part. Now, if you've already tried this, if you've already tried to add subtitles and captions and tried to render and finalize your video and you're watching this video trying to figure out what the hell happened, I'm going to share the second part with you because it's a little bit weird how you need to render the video. So when you are adding closed captioning and subtitles, you actually need to render it a different way than you usually would. Now, I'm not sure why you would need to do this, and I personally think it's a flaw in the software that you need to go and do this because most people aren't going to think, okay, it's clo I'm adding closed captioning, so I need to go and change something in the settings. I feel like when you add closed captioning that the system and the software should know to do whatever it needs to do to show up on the video because the issue was I was rendering it and you know I did all this work to add the captions but the captions weren't showing and I had to render it a bunch of times until I figured it out so this is how you do it you want to click on share go to local file and you need to make sure that you click on custom production settings so click on that click next Make sure to click MP4 uh, Smart Player, Next. Now you don't need to touch any of this other stuff if, if you don't want to, but what you need to do for the closed captioning is head over to Options, and you need to make sure that you have Captions checked, Captions Initially Visible, and you need to have it burned in. Because for some reason, if you choose any of the other ones, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that that says burned in captions. Then you click next and then click next and then name it. So this is subtitles closed captions test. Okay, click finish. It's going to render now. I'll be back when it's done. All right, so this is gonna pop up. You wanna click open production folder, and then a whole bunch of other stuff is gonna pop up, but this is what you want, the MPEG4 movie. That is going to be your video. All right, so I'm gonna play it here and show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm letting you guys know that Canada Post is doing free shipping on Tuesdays for the entire month of October. Okay, so that's what we had done in the test video here. So that is how you add subtitles, closed captions to your videos in Camtasia 9. And make sure that when you are rendering and publishing the video, that you go into the settings and you change it to what I had shown you because otherwise it's not gonna work if you don't do that. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. If I was able to help you out in any way, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these types of videos and you want more Camtasia 9 videos, head down to the description below because we have some playlists where I have a whole bunch more Camtasia 9 tutorials. All right guys, well thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead